are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here today. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Particulars here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Veteran Herbert Dean, ready, our ready. referee for this one. Ready. Good. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd. And a hook out of simulated training. I think you got a beat on him. And then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Set up behind it, the right hook misses. Nice jab. Big shot to the body. They're certainly getting after it early. on that offering. Unable to connect there. Of your seat action as expected thus far. Oh man, John, they're trading early. <laughs> Whoa, what a head kick! Yes! We march on three minutes to go. Lead left by Lee. <laughs> oh, strike lands cleanly there, champ. Nice left hand. Oh, big elbow.
Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you wanna finish because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Oh, heavy kick to the body. Nice crack there. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Throws that deep and it lands. That's a big hook. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Under a minute to go. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Connected with a solid punch right there. Right there it is. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on his body. Well, you can tell that he had a purpose to come on here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right now. Straight right hand now just misses. 20 seconds left. Well, now you see some visible damage. Oh, what a head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. I mean, how about those five minutes, DC? One of the best Go. rounds of the year. Heading back to the corner now after a competitive round. And Lee's bleeding from the forehead here a bit. Hopefully they can get that under control so it doesn't trickle down into his eyes in the next round. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, round two. Clean with the right hook. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, his, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. And that spinning kick found its home up top. Straight punch is true. Checks the leg kicks. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Lands a quick jab. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Oh, I Kick lands. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, 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 and now his opponent in a world of 
Mitchell. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Way to mix it up. Huge elbow lance from Cliff. Nice entry there, and able to finish. Two minutes to go in the round. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Back to his feet. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Under a minute to go. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Targeting the body with the kick now. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Lee. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. 15 seconds remain in the round. Quick jab. Single collar tie there. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let us get you some replays from that previous round. His nose is significantly damaged after his opponent's handiwork in that previous frame. It's smashed. It's smashed, John, and you see the cut on it. You see the bruising. What's, it's bad now, but in a couple days, it'll be much worse. Yeah. Because that's when you get the black eyes and you start to look like a freaking fake one. The guy is taking too many shots with his head. He's not doing a great job of moving his head off the center line. If he wants to win this fight, he has got to be smarter in his approach. And he is toughness personified, but you got to think that that nose, in terms of his breathing pattern, is going to start to give him issues as this fight presses on him. That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Please kick to the body is blocked. Back and forth we go. His nose is all crooked. It's all beat up. It's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Clean punch. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. So I'm going to hit you, and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights, and it hit the, the blood. Oh, big, big shots here. Oh, and the perp steps in. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. 
So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after <laughs> The official decision is now in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 25 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more.